Hello everybody, welcome to Cellar Maker Brewing Company in San Francisco. Um, this is the little brewery, it's down in the corner. Um, this is their little bar and stuff as well. Um, this place has been recommended by pretty much everyone to me. Um, as one of the kind of key spots to hit, the really kind of up and coming breweries in the scene. Um, they've got a real wide selection of different beers, different styles. They've got a couple of English variety styles, a couple of American pale ales and IPAs, triples and stuff. Sorry man. Um, so there's a whole little mix and a range of different stuff that's going on here. Um, one of the breweries is actually speaking, um, talking to me, and he's, he's giving us kind of his selection of stuff that he, he gives us the best. So uh, we're going to start off, if I find the right one that he recommended, with uh, Dobbis, which is their 100% Citra Pale Ale, single hops with English malt in it, nice hops Hazy as anything, so it's the best Citra they've had uh, in a long time, it's fresh as it's been. Um, looks like a dust of mango juice, and Citra tastes like mango, so it's probably going to be like that. Oh no, it's... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's mango juice. Mum, you're going to love this, I'm afraid you're going to absolutely love this. Uh, this is cut in at 6% this one, so it's not particularly strong for America, it's good strong. It's like this song. Dobbies is all Mellow and smooth. Absolutely amazing. It's so, 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 so juicy, so easy drinking. Absolutely smacking great. Honestly, honestly, just like, just like eating a piece of fruit. So next up, um, go from Poppy to even more. Poppy, we've got the most Citra, which is the Mosaic and Citra blend. Um, this one's much clearer to be filtered, I'd assume. But it's still kind of straw white. So on the nose with this one, uh, it's, it's definitely got a bit more mosaic. Um, mosaic's kind of melony, I always find, but and a little bit kind of um, grapefruity as well. But it's got that little bit of hit of mango underneath it, like cheap and Citra too. So cheers. Seven percent. But it has a little bit more dankness to it, a little bit more of a West Coast IPA feel, a bit more citrus and pine, I suppose, but still got the tropical underlay from, from, the, from the citrus. Um, I mean, it's a saturated mark of the West Coast IPA, but that's really, really good. And finally, the one on the is um, 11%. This is Dank Statement, their triple IPA. This one is uh, Simcoe Citra and CTZ, uh, which is uh, Top Hop and Zeus. Chin Top Hop and Zeus, I believe. Um, another variety, and some Amaro Loach and Dry Hop. Um, this one's a little more cloudy, but it's kind of coppery coloured. On the nose with this one. Yeah, it's still got quite dank uh, nose man, but it's a little bit more spicy and a little more peppery, but still got that grapefruit and the citrus to it. Um, and a lot more sweetness, a lot more kind of caramel on the nose, so cheers. Sweet alcohol burning your nose, but on the palate, definitely hot forward, a little bit of sweetness to it. Um, I always find triple IPAs can be a little bit, are they a barley wine, are they not? But this is most certainly an IPA, all hot, with a little bit of backy sweetness. It's not sweet with a bit of hot. Um, very, very, very good from the back of the, the, back of the mouth, but that, may, that much hops in the beer and that percentage, I expect it. A little bit warming on the palate as well. Great. <laughs> Next up we've got their Cell Maker Portis, 4% English style stout, very dark colour but kind of a pale head on it. On the nose, roasty and dry, much like the many Porter styles we've tried here. So cheers, let's give it a try. Yeah, it's fruity, it's very dry, lots of spritz to it, a little bit more to the end, there's probably a cherry note into it as well. Um, it's probably one of the better ports in hand, but it's still just like a little bit of body, I think. You need a bit more boost. Okay, um, finally on the board, we've got Saison de Flandre, which is a uh, Saison with European American hops. Um, it's supposed to be a spicy um, Saison yeast. This one's crystal clear, so it's probably filtered, I imagine. And on the nose, it's got a real typical farmhouse spicy um, yeast profile. A little bit peppery, a little bit kind of um, tart, perhaps. It's really quite juicy, it's got quite a bit of sweeter citrus flavour and then you get a little bit of spice and it finishes a bit drier. Um, the American hops probably give me just that little bit of a fruitier edge to it and taking the edge off some of the some of the more funky notes about the under. I'm wondering if there's some bread in there as well to get a bit of fussiness. It's pretty nice to be honest. And finally, this is the big bad boy that the uh, brewer recommended said you want to try uh, so it's kind of a flagship beer. Uh, this is the Golden Barrel Vastness of Space Imperial Stout at 11%. Uh, Aged 13 months in a barrel, so since they've been open, really. Pitch black, coffee colour head. 
unsurprisingly on the nose, it's just bought the sweet old vanilla in London. It smells so woozy sweet. So cheers. <laughs> wow. It's got this slight little tartness to it, back of the back of the it's, just, it's not as cloyingly sweet as you might imagine it might be. Big, sweet, boozy vanilla as a frog. Bit of dark dry roast of stout flavor, then you get a slight tartness to the back. I'm assuming that the barrel just got a little bit of something in there, something maybe breasted or something that just makes it a bit drier. Um, oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. These bourbon beers, these big bourbon imperial stouts are killing me because they're amazing. And I can't drink them because they're too good. So there you go, um, let's run down the list, shall we? Actually, that's getting a little bit of um, soy sauce on the back of the palate, too. It's definitely getting some aging to it, but in a good way. Okay, so let's run down the line. Um, play them yourself, the Dobbis, and then Pale Ale. My God, Citra in a glass is amazing. Get here, try it fresh as can be. Absolutely spectacular. Nine and a half. Easy, easy, easy. Really mean it. Um, the most Citra. This is such a... There's so many good West Coast IPAs out here. This is a great one. It is really... I mean, it's okay. It, it's so easy. That's another nine and a half, I'm afraid. Dank Statement, one of the best triple IPAs I've ever tried because it's actually an IPA, not a barley wine, but lots of hops in it. Um, I'm going to give that a nine, though. Um, the Boozy Bird. I'm not a huge fan of triple IPAs as a start in general, but it's still damn good. Porter. It's, it's, it's pretty good. Nothing that OTT special, I'm afraid. They need more body, I think, the American Porter. It's probably going to be an eight. Still really good, still drinkable. Um, the Saison, good style of the Saison. A little bit sweet, a little bit more hoppiness to it, a bit like citrus from, uh, before you get a bit of foam. It's really nice, really well made. I'm going to give that an eight and a half. And then the big bad boy, all about the bastard to space. Just leave me alone with it, please. That's uh, an easy nine and a half as well. Absolutely spectacular. Um, so as you can tell, the beers here, they don't do bad beer. They do really good beer, and I mean, they do really good beer. So, get yourself down to uh, between 7th and 8th Street in little Tenderloin area, so myself and Mark in, in uh, San Francisco, and come and try it, because you really need to. So there you go, please like, comment, and subscribe, until the next beer review, everyone, and really happy Jack. Cheers.